here today with Catherine Bell, also hey. known as Love Catherine Bell on YouTube or at Kath underscore Bell on <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Funny username. And today we decided to film a tag or challenge as you want to call it, whatever. I don't even know what it is. But basically it's called the Not My Arms Makeup Challenge. And what we do, I guess, is we share a big t-shirt. So this like big t-shirt right here. Uh, we put it around both of our heads, and then she will sit behind me and put her arms through, Somehow. and then, yeah, and Somehow. then she's gonna do my makeup, and basically I'm gonna go through what I do every single day if I'm wearing makeup that day, basically my, like, everyday routine, and she'll try to, like, find the makeup and then put it on my face, but since she's sitting behind me, she won't see what she's doing, and... So it's gonna look beautiful, basically. Hopefully, I, mean, I, look, I look like a princess afterwards. Oh, and we got our little toys here. Don't know why, we just felt yeah. like it. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and leave in the comments below what challenge you'd like to see us do next, because I think we're going to start filming some more videos together. And yeah, for sure. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to let us know if you liked it, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day, and let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to take off my makeup right now, since I was wearing makeup today, and this video... She can't be wearing any yeah. makeup, so she has to take it off. <laughs> Basically. I forgot what I was going to say. Wait, put this on and then keep taking your makeup off after. <laughs> How is this gonna work? I have no idea. Ready? Uh -huh. Okay. Put your head through. How do I? My, my head? No, I just put my arms, right? No, your head has to go through the thing what? also. Yeah, we have to share the oh shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with my primer, <laughs> which is um, not bad. Oh shit. I forgot about primer. Um, primer. Yeah, yes. I'm going to start off with my primer. Um, so I just put a little bit on my fingers and then I rub it evenly over my face and make sure <laughs> that I, you know, <laughs> spread it all over my cheeks. <laughs> And then rub it a bit in my hair. <laughs> Get it on that nose. <laughs> Yay! It's evenly distributed. <clears throat> now I take my foundation that I normally use, which is this Estee Lauder, uh, whichever one, doesn't matter. Estee Lauder foundation. And I normally apply this on the back of my hand just a little bit. It comes out kind of fast, so be careful about that, guys. <laughs> Just a little bit like that. Perfect. And then I take um, my beauty blender or my, my makeup brush, whichever one, it doesn't really matter. And then I just, you know, spread it around my hand and then I apply it onto my face. So starting off on the cheeks, it's the best area to apply it. I just do little circular motions on the bottom of my jaw. <laughs> you know, I want to spread it around to make it like a beard. And then, you know, get some on my forehead. Gotta cover those zits up. So I like this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that you just pull off the top. You don't need to twist it. Um, and then I just put a little bit on my hand. Like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I put the cap back on. And then I just apply it to the areas where I need it most. So on my zits, under my eyes, around my nose, and anywhere like that. So I just dab it all over that around my nose and then you gotta do a little bit under my eyes so you can get rid of those like dark circles yep so good now to set the foundation I use a powder um, this one is one of my favorites it's the Revlon nearly naked powder I usually use this with a big fluffy brush doesn't really matter what I use it with you can use a kabuki brush or a big fluffy brush sometimes I find it really hard to open so I really have to use my muscles which I don't really have so <laughs> gotta open it up and I find a big fluffy brush and I just you know mix it around in there and then I apply it to my face generously get away that shine oh yes on the eyebrows especially important oh in the mouth it looks really good guys 
Um, the next thing I like to do is apply some bronzer, you know, to contour those cheekbones and the, you know, the temples. So I like my Lunar's Laguna bronzer. It's definitely my favorite bronzer that I have. And I take, um, a, you know, an angled brush or contour brush, whatever you want to use. And I just like to suck in like this. And then I apply it. <laughs> so pretty. Can't forget to do the other side. It's very important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so contoured I like to apply some blush after I touch my hair because um, this is one of my favorite blushes it's called prism by Mac and it's a powder blush and I just use it with whatever brush I want um, this little brush is great so I just smile upon the apples of my cheeks and I apply it like that and, you know I like to touch to make sure I know where the apples are right good perfect and then the next thing I like to move on to my eyes. So first I like to prime my eyes with <laughs> not my palette. I like to prime it with my NARS um, primer, which is really great if you have oily eyelids. Um, so I just apply it to my eyelids like so, um, making sure I get it all on perfect. Mm -hmm. Your, my hand might be covering my face a little bit, but oh, it's great. That's perfect. So the next thing I like to use is my Naked 2 palette, and I just look through the colors and I decide which color I, I like the best. So I like to apply this color to my eyelid because it gives a really nice sheer glow and it's just very youthful. And I like to take a, a darker color um, with the same brush and then I apply it to the outer V of my eye. And then that eye... Um, it just really deepens up the look, and it gives you like a really nice um, smoky eye look. And then I do the same to the other eye. Mm -hmm. It's really nice and blended. Okay. So next I take my mascara, and sometimes I like to curl my lashes before I do my mascara, mm -hmm. and sometimes I don't need to, so it depends on the day. Um, I think today I might curl them. No, today oh. I might not, or I might. I don't know. <laughs> no, not going to curl them today. <laughs> so I just take the mascara. Um, I like to use the small piece first to do um, bottom lashes. So I look up, and then I kind of pull the skin down, just like that. <laughs> and I like to use my left hand to do this way. Mm -hmm. You gotta really kind of press or else you won't see it. Good. Now I do this side. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of lashes and now I do the bigger side to do the top lashes. So I look kind of down. Perfect. Get a little bit of my hair. It's all good. <laughs> now for the eyebrows. This is my favorite part because I I find I'm very bad at doing eyebrows, but um, sometimes you know I've been working on it, so hopefully it's a little bit better. So I take the little brush that's in there, and I just you know I do the shape of my eyebrow. I take this lighter shade, mm -hmm. just like that, and then I like to form the shape of my eyebrow. So nice. Get that really natural arch. Arch? Arch. I use any color I, I want normally. Um, I like more of like a deeper color for the fall months, you know? Open it. What does it say? Perfect. So this one, I'm going to like do, open my mouth a little bit like this, and then I'm going to apply it. Get it on my teeth. I'm gonna smile actually, it's probably easier. Gotta really apply a thick layer because if you don't press hard enough, <laughs> it won't really show. Yeah. And I rub my lips together and smile, and that is the finished look. If you really like this look, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. I think it's very natural and perfect for the fall, mostly for any season, but definitely for the fall because of the lips. And yeah. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how do I look? <laughs> oh my god, wait, is it good? I feel like I did the eyeshadow pretty good. We have mascara all the way down here. Oh, wait. wait show me your lips. Oh, wait, let's just take this off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it pretty? <laughs> your lipstick's not as bad as I thought. Really? Oh my god, it's just this 
smudge there on your lips. <laughs> the eyebrows are definitely the best part. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so if you enjoyed this makeup look, be sure to check out her channel. I'll we'll be doing it on her face. Um, I hope I hopefully I hope I do a better job than she did to me because this definitely is probably the ugliest makeup I've ever worn in my life. A bit better than when my boyfriend did it. Yeah, come on. But I mean, for someone who's not able to see what they're doing, it's pretty good. Come on, I mean. Thank you. Can I think you see? It's not too. Bad. I think the mascara is on key. It's just perfect. You know. Yeah, I did a good job. Um, yeah, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to let us know if you liked it, and I will link everything in the description box below, um, like what products we use or whatever, and I will definitely link her channel below as well as on her face right here if you want to click on it to go watch her <laughs> video of me doing her makeup and making her look like an absolute beautiful person <laughs> because you know she's super ugly right now <laughs> I'm just kidding and yeah let us know in the comments below if you thought this was funny or if you have any suggestions or ideas for other challenges or yeah, let us know. you know funny things to do and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video bye Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that video. It was honestly so much fun to make. I will link Catherine's version in the description box below. Definitely go check it out and give it a thumbs up. It's so funny. If you click the video link on the left, it will bring you to my last video that I filmed with Karina. It's kind of like a Brandy Babe style video. It's really, really cute. She's honestly so pretty, has the most beautiful hair ever. And then the video on the right will bring you to my last video before that, which is the Brandy Melville Fall Out for the Day video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.